You're listening and watching to a very special podcast. Okay, guys, this is going to get intense. Man, Barrera's got a long perspective view of story. <laughs> okay, enjoy. <clears throat> Barrera was just staring out into the oblivion, not looking at anything else out the window. She was really upset, looking out the window. Tears seemed stained, as if she had been crying, and she had. She was filled with rage. I don't know how he got there, she thought bitterly. He is so going to pay. If he hurts anyone else, I swear I am going to get him for this. She clenched her fists in her hand. Just then, the door opened, the front door, and she managed to stay calm. Bree, are you here? In here, Kotetsu, Barrera called. She could hear her footsteps, and it looked like Kotetsu wasn't alone. Uh, hey, you're all right. I thought you would still be recovering. Turns out I got some pretty good healing, huh? Rora said. Uh, listen. I know that you're not a superhero. Or having a secret identity and you're not really a sponsor. So, you figured it out, didn't you? Rora said. I thought somebody would find out. I thought they knew. I guess I was right. She was quiet for a moment. Hey, are you okay? I thought you wanted to talk. Me too. I really do. Did I ever tell you that I have powers to see things that are happening before they even happen, or that's already happening? It's like a blessing, really. Sometimes some of my powers are a curse, both blessing and curse. Oh, it can't always be a curse. Well, it can be. I mean, it's just really frustrating. I'm not an ex like you. Hell, I don't even know about nex or what it is. But I know who beat up Ben. <laughs> you knew about that? Yeah, before you did. He was the man with the cane, right? Aurora said. Yeah, it was. That's what Ben told me. I can't believe you knew. Well, I did. Bree, Chloe said in a warning tone. Whatever you're going to do, please just calm down. How did he get here, Chloe? How did he find me? I I don't understand. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Who was here? I don't want to stay in front of Kotetsu. What the hell are you talking about? Chloe demanded. Leave me alone, Barrera said sobbingly. Hey, Bree, why are you crying? It's, it's okay, you can tell me. <laughs> Where were you when that happened, Kotetsu? I was looking for you. I mean, you left the hospital. You escaped. What happened? Do you know who beat up Ben? Chloe said. Yeah, I do, but I can't say it. Can't say. Then Chloe realized something. 
Oh my god. It was your dad, wasn't it? That bastard, how could he? Chloe said, don't say that! Ferrer cried out. Glasses of the window began to crack. Hey, listen, breathe. I don't know what you're talking about, but listen. Whatever you want to tell me, I'm okay with it. Kotetsu, you're lucky that you don't have a father who is crazy and abusive and doesn't leave you alone for just two seconds, Boomer said. The windows were about to crack and crack and crack a little more. Barnaby knew this was getting bad. Calm down, he said. Barnaby Brooks Jr. Stay back now and don't tell me to calm down. Wait a sec, you're dead. You mean he abuses you? Oh, come on. He can't do that to you. Will you stop saying that? Kotetsu couldn't believe it. He had never seen Barrera like this. Why are you talking to me that way? I thought we were friends. Of course we're friends. I didn't want you to think that I'm a psychopath like he is. You know, I don't care about that. If you really had an abusive father, you should have told me. I would have deal with him myself. Yeah, I know how it feels to be hurt. I, I know that. You are lucky. You're lucky that you have a nice mother and a daughter. And of course, you lost your wife when your daughter was four. Me? I wasn't so lucky. Stay back, Ferrer said in a gritted teeth tone. The window of the glass began breaking even more and more until it broke. Chloe gasped, and then she thought to herself, oh no. The medium mercury, it's really coursing through her. Bree, snap out of it, Chloe said. Snap out of what? Can't you see? I am nothing, she cried out. Then she realized what she was doing. Oh no, no. Kotetsu managed to take Barrera by her shoulders. Hey, look at me. You gotta focus. He said. Barrera looked at him. Kotetsu, help me. No, please. this anymore. I can't. I can't. I feel like I'm gonna die. No, no, no. Don't talk that way, Kotetsu said. Listen, we can help you. Okay? We can help you. We can go find someone we can talk to. I know someone that can help you. We can fix this, okay? You're not alone. We can fix it. We can help him. Ben's gonna be fine. I mean, we can all maybe help each other and maybe fix our problems. But he didn't have to say it more because Barrer began to glare at him with such dark red eyes. And she said in a spine chilling tone that made Kotetsu shocked I don't want to fix it! Then, Barrera tenetically pushed Kotetsu back into a wall. Ugh. 
What am I doing? Okay. I'm losing it. It's just like before. Aurora said to herself. It's just like how I accidentally pushed someone off a cliff and <laughs> I'm a real life sociopath, huh? <laughs> You're not a sociopath, Kotetsu said, standing over Barrer. What am I? I'm not even a superhero. I'm not even. <sighs> you know what's the most hardest thing for me? I lost so many people. I lost 12 of my friends. I lost this little girl that I hardly ever knew. She was just chasing a little butterfly. I witnessed three people getting their themselves killed by the sociopath. And I already used my powers to push someone over a cliff and let him fall to his death. I know I should get over it, but I can still think about it. I thought maybe I would get better. I don't know why I can't get better. I try my best to be happy. Is there something wrong with me? Is there? Aurora said. Kotetsu looked at her. No. But I think you're missing the point. It's going to take a lot of practice to maybe get through things. Believe me. I know he's been through a lot. Kotetsu said, gesturing over to Barnaby. Yeah. But how did you know I was a superhero? How did you know about my family? Well, yeah, um, <laughs> how do I know that? Barrera said. Then Barnaby said, because of this, he said. There was the MPD, and then that's when Barnaby explained to him what was going on. Kotetsu was pretty shocked. So you knew it from this thing? You mean it plays out different memories? He asked. Oh, sure, yeah, it does. It does. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of weird, aren't I? Burr said. No. Actually, I, I pretty much like it. Really? Uh, you're just trying to be nice. <laughs> I like it. Kind of cool. Yeah. I'm glad. And so Barrera felt pretty better. But still, there were things still ahead. Thank you for listening and watching. I will see you all next time. I'm Captain Donovan, and I'll see you later. Bye bye!